that genre alive with releases like Dawn of the Dead, Slither, and Dead Silence. with a scary movie. Because if you go to one, let's face facts, you just want to have a good time. We're proud to say we're making a brand new one right here in front of us at stage 50. It's called Angels Live in My Town. Stars Glenn Meadows, Brock Landers, and Chess Rockwell. At this stage, a huge subway set. Bill Bragg can see. We're going to go in for you all to take a good look. Scuba Steve caught a shark using a number two pencil. I've never even heard of anything like that. So I said, Steve, come on by the tour. Let's see how it's done. He's been practicing all morning. He's out there in the water near the Amity police boat. And all goes as I have planned. Then a shark will show up right now. Right as Steve comes out of the water. Okay, Steve is usually floating right there with the... Oh, there's the bubbles. Okay, good. Big shark. There's Steve sharpening his number two pencil. <laughs> and I think he's going to go take out the eyes first because that's usually a good method to take away the shark's vision. And then... Steve, come on, get that pencil in there. It's. Uh... It's not how we reversed it. Well, that might be the shark's blood. 
quite possible, right? The sharks bleed red? They do, right? I mean, it could be the shark. Maybe Steve will just emerge from the water right now. Show us the heart. No, I guess not. The shark's pulling us into the water. Hold on. Whoa! Okay, gas leak up there. I think it's gonna go. There it is. Oh, Whoa. man. Hey. Yeah, you built oh, some fire. All right, listen, guys. We need to look for the shark, okay? Where is the shark right now? It could be anywhere. Oh, no. Duck and cover. We'll need a bigger boat. <laughs> Joss, by the way, a tough movie to make. Three sharks go for the production, and they always broke down. That's a much maligned shark. It didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hardly at all. <laughs> Wherever you were on the island, you could hear the radio mics. They were always saying, the shark is not working. Repeat, the shark is not working. <laughs> we just waited around. We just waited and waited and waited. The shark worked well enough for a while there in the biggest suit of all time. So I really owe the shark a lot. Many scenes in Jaws, you don't see the shark, but you see a victim being attacked by a shark, which forces the image into your mind of what's happening under the water. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Here's something for you. Amity Island also became Cabin Cove Maine for murder she wrote. Starring Angela Lansbury. She played Jessica Fletcher, a murder mystery novelist. Wherever she went in the world, somebody was murdered. This was never a problem. She would always raise her hand and say, listen, I write my mystery novels for a living. I'll solve the crime. She did this every week for 12 years. It was never revealed that she was the murderer all along. <laughs> I thought they'd reveal that someday. They didn't do it. Coming up to your right, this one is Chicken Ranch. For movies like Shout Me, I would spin them for love of the game. <laughs> Practical setting to shoot inside and outside. I'm not sure, but I think you guys are pretty lucky. I think you, well, on your left, get a chance to see a little bit of Wisteria Lane from Death and Housewives. Maybe it's a show starring Terry Hatcher, folks, right here. They're inside rehearsing or rebuilding the set. Needless to say, there's a lot of secrets within the area right now that we can't see. Welcome, Mr. Elaine. We are fast approaching their season finale. Yes, Brown Swipes, there's every Sunday night on ABC. The area has been seen in Leave it to Beaver, Prominence, The Monsters, and Tom Hanks films, like The Lady Killers, Dragnet, and The Birds. And a lot of people do remember it from music videos by popular artists. Somebody won't show me the world is gonna roll me. But that uh, is beside the point as we approach Whoville from the bridge. Most of Whoville was built in stage as well, which we had earlier on the tour, but we had some serious set things. Everybody knows the song. You're the big one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a 